Okay, so I recently um, showed you the um, Remembrance Day cross, and so I started thinking about crosses again, and, and here's a, another cross that's another two balloon uh, cross, but this one's a little bit more 3D, and so you can sort of see it's got um, that type of look. So let me just show you how it's done. Um, it, the two balloons are different lengths. One is uh, mostly inflated. The other one is um, leaves a lot of space. And so this one is going to be a uh, uh, 16 bubbles. And so this one's not so many. So here's how I begin. I start with uh, a fairly long one and then an even, uh, a really long one. And then a not so long one. And then a little micro bubble, not just a, a bubble like that. And so essentially it's a pentagon, but really awkward and weird things. Now I'm going to replicate this path in reverse. And so now I've got uh, that small one, and then I'm going to match that last bubble here. So, not too bad there. And so you can see hexagon on this with same length, same length, same length, and then the two in the front. And this, this end might not be bad for a holding. Now I introduce this other long one, and this is the one that does a lot of time. Okay? And so you gotta keep these ones fairly small. So first off, I put in a one. Let me just quickly pound through the design, and then you'll see how to do it. Okay, so that's what I did. Essentially a hexagon just stuck in there. Okay, now the more fun part comes. I now do uh, a longer one to meet up at the front here. And so that's part of the cross. But instead of completing the cross, what I do now is I start uh, weaving it in. So a little bubble here brings it in. And now I do two micro small bubbles. And I go diagonally across the square. Okay, so across the square in the back. Now I do a small bubble, but not a micro bubble. To the front. To the, to the this part here. I'm going to pull it down this way. A small bubble takes me to the corner, and now I do two micro bubbles, really small ones. Okay, and so I link the two micro bubbles with the last two micro bubbles. I do a small bubble here, and I uh, pull it around, and then just finish it off. And I think I actually. Uh, a little massaging, and then I can actually just pull the, the end here around twice, and I am done. Okay, and so there is the cross. Notice these ones are longer than these ones, and so it uh, keeps it a little bit more straight, and these things bubble out as well because they're longer. Okay. And so you can hold it like that, or of course you can um, get rid of this last little bit just by um, getting, oops, sorry about that, uh, tying that off. Um, but maybe it was, wasn't a bad thing to hold on to, to have a nice connection. You uh, can cut that or just uh, stick it in like I did. But there is the cross, and of course, probably you'll want to do it in a monochromatic way. But uh, there you go, uh, a two balloon cross that might come in handy. Cheers.